Hi guys, welcome back for another video. I've been raking the leaves and uh, I wanted to do a quick review on this. this. This little piece of equipment really done a good job. Now I've had it for a couple years and really haven't used it a whole lot. But <clears throat> it has some really nice features and if you get a chance I think you'd enjoy using one of them. Thanks for watching, let's get on with the video. Let's take a couple of minutes here to see some of the features this thing has. First of all, you can move your hitch all the way across so you can offset it to the lawnmower any way you choose, as well as an adjustable hitch here for the height. Uh, that is one thing I noticed. I have to push this underneath my lawnmower in order to keep everything running vertical. You don't want this thing running tilted up because you can drag the, the back of your bag loose there and you don't want to break this thing while you're using it. But they've made it easy, uh, just simply loosen the knobs up. And with a zero turn, you're moving pretty quick. So I, I try to keep this thing centered up so I can keep an eye on it. And you'll see that in the footage, okay? Uh, the extended handle. I never had to get off the lawnmower the entire time dumping these leaves out. And that's really nice. Let's look at the side. This thing is super easy to adjust. Again, when it's hooked up to your lawnmower, just simply slide the pin out and set your depth. And I mean, it's just that easy. And I typically run on three and a half inches. That's about what I mow the yard at. And then it has a T up here. And that is when you want to put it in tow. So that disengages your brushes as far as just simply lifts the brushes up to where it's not trying to sweep up items for you. This thing is extremely easy to adjust and works like a charm. Now they have made this basket where you slide these pins out of here and this basket comes off of this and then you can fold this entire thing up and put it in your garage as well as take the hitch out of it so you this is all the space you would be using if you're in your garage if you want to store this inside again the handle folds up this bag slides out and collapses so I mean it, it's it's really a room saver in your shop something like this I'm fortunate I got uh, enough room to where I can just slide it in there and leave it complete but if you need to and, and again everything is made sectional so you can slide it right apart and put it away you typically only have to use these once or twice a year okay now one thing you do watch for is build up around your axles because as you run through your yard you're going to pick up different things that you know string uh, these are vines from the honeysuckles so make sure you know uh, specifically if you're going to go extended use I'll show you an easy way to get that stuff out of there now you have two tools you can use here uh, a pair of small shears or a pair of side cutters and just simply trim those vines back off of that because again you don't want it uh, rubbing against your axle and causing all that friction so that'll help you out a bunch and that stuff can be pesky it gets wound in there so tight that it can actually bind your brushes up and if you're riding on your lawnmower you may not hear it but then you're just simply dragging your brushes along and uh, doing harm to the unit and not actually doing anything behind you as far as work so just clip all those little vines back If I'm back there on the disc golf course doing this, I mean this is every 20 or 30 minutes because there is a lot of shrubbery back there. All right. If you keep that clean out of your axles, you can see uh, probably right here there's a little plastic nut that you don't want to break because these, uh, again, you're, you're towing this pretty quick. Get that guy out of there. All right. Got him. And then always make sure that you've got your brushes clean. Got one more spot there. See if we can get down to that. 
Again, these side cutters make this real easy. Just clip that stuff off of there. Okay. Now let's look at the other side. This particular model is a 44 inch sweep. And like I said, it, it done it done a really good job. Um, this guy here does tend to get tall back there, so if you're going underneath low hanging limbs and things like that, uh, I did. I ended up raking this corner right here against a tree. This stuff, this material is tough, but it can tear. So you'd want to be careful with that. And another thing I noticed get this handle up here. Like I said, this thing tilts really easy. Right. Now this seam right here, and again, I've had this for a couple of years, but as you're dragging this along the ground, and this is why you'd want to keep, make sure this stays flat to your lawnmower, because if you've got this angled down to where this girl's riding on the ground, this is what happened to, to it. So, I'm going to take and sew that back up before that gets any worse. I don't want it to rip the plastic off the bag. Now, and you can't uh, not drag that in certain places in your yard. This is durable plastic, and you can replace the bag should you have to. So, and there's a better view of the sweep. Those brooms do a pretty good job. Uh, they were picking up walnuts and sticks and all kinds of stuff there. All right. guys um, you'll see in the GoPro footage this this thing's doing a pretty good job sweeping up the yard and uh, again I was impressed with it I mean this is five and a half acres and I was only out here for about three hours cleaning up and it swept up a big pile of leaves you'll see them when we're dumping them out there I hope this video is helpful for you in some way I do appreciate you watching see you on the next one